Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a collection I got for $40 uh, from the same place that I was filming that uh, Power 9. So I don't know if I'm going to edit that video. Uh, it was a very good collection and this is kind of what I got for $40 of the better cards. Um, obviously I sorted the cards out and that's always the most fun part is when you buy a collection and you don't know what's in it. Uh, although they did tell me that they combed, they were very honest and I just really appreciate that. Uh, they told me that there would be no very valuable cards in the set and I knew that beforehand but having like old school cards like this uh, so Beta, Alpha, Arabian Nights, Legends, Black Borders uh, even if they're not extremely valuable it just bring back a lot of really good memories and hopefully you know and I also got this box which is kind of cool I haven't seen this box in a while Avenging Angel, uh, Raffi Dragon I can probably name it Griven Evek uh, Furnace of Wrath uh, I don't know this one. This is a time attack, I feel like. But the box uh, was very cool. And I'm going to go through the collection. Uh, and actually, my I was going through it, and it just took, like, it was an hour of me talking. So I'll try to move a little faster. I just remember so many good memories playing with these cards. Cause this is the set that I started with, was back in the day. Uh, you have all these, you know, um, so you have, like, a Merfolk. A 1-1 a one -one was a very good for a one-drop. And yeah, these are more modern cards, but I'll try to move to the cards. This card would used to be very good. Legends, uh, Control Magic. Uh, one of the ways that you can tell if something is, hopefully I can, I've, I do have, I did have a very good example of it. Oh, Black Vice. Um, that card is worth like a dollar or two. So none of these cards are particularly expensive. They just, you know, Wanted to get rid of them, and I wanted to grab them. Steel Artifact is pretty good. And I just remember having like these cards when I was younger, and have, being able to rebuy them, like this little giant tortoise. It's just fun. It's so fun, right? I mean, I just love that <coughs> I have a bunch of giant turtles now. Or fist liver oil. I mean, it's there's a feeling that you get when you have hold these cards that you've been playing with for such a long time and you don't have them, like Unstable Mutation would be kind of good I guess for Infect deck I, I've not seen this one, Dream Coat uh, Caster may chain target creature, oh so it's kind of like a Pure Lace type of deal so yeah I just love 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 um, having older cards and just being able to look at them and See, it's so many good memories of me and my friends playing with these older cards, but then I've sold my collection two times, so I no longer have them. So, I mean, yeah. But now I have them back again, so that's good. It only costs $40, so definitely, in my opinion, worth it. A lot of these cards are so weird, like Great Defender, where X is the creature's casting cost, like, and it's a Merfolk on a white card, Great Wall. A lot of great stuff. Oh, Resurrection is pretty cool. Pair Lace, lots of laces, uh, lots of random cards. Oh, I mean, card draw used to be so bad, this was played. Seeker, oh man, just, oh, love my Tundra Wolves. Like, they're just so cute. And Visions, um, kind of like Brainstorm, but you don't get to draw a card, and you don't get, so nothing like Brainstorm, actually, that I read it. Uh, wall of, so this is a 2-1 wall, uh, and one or more other walls join to block a creature, attacker, and no other creature. Besides walls, blocks, that block that attacker, wall of, against banding, so, oh, it bands together, so it, if it's blocking. And, yeah, this has got, there's elephants, and keepers, and ivory giants, and... Legends, uh, Arabian Nights, such a good set. I just love this. Oh, camels. How can we forget the camels? <laughs> I mean, it's an 04 with banding that makes creatures that band with it immune to desert. Because that used to be a big deal when people shot down your camels with deserts. Like, Swords of Plowshares. Um, that's probably one of the only valuable cards. War Elephant. Again, most of these cards I, I knew going into it were not extremely valuable, but when you have a chance, it's only $40, like it came out to be like $45 after tax, but if you have a chance to buy this over a fat pack, there's no doubt in my mind you always pick this. Like, look at how beautiful these cards are, like even 
divine offering, like equinox. If people like uh, Guru Lands, this is kind of the original Guru Land. I'm kidding. It's worth like five cents. The artwork back then, in my opinion, was a lot better than it is today. And then, like Pirelay, some cards were just so oh, antiquities. Uh, some cards are just so bad that like you gotta you look at it and say, hmm, how could this? Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Kismet. Um, my friend used to play this all the time against us, and it was really annoying. Just the tigers and the lions, and I don't know. I'm a fan of animals, obviously. So. This used to be playable. I think it's one of the Omi cards with Planeswalk. Seeker, e another Equinox, Eye for an Eye. Wow, look at this. I mean, would this be played? Would this be appropriate today? I don't know. There's some pretty gruesome stuff, but. Oh, wow, this is another Blacksmith. Uh, Blaze of Glory is pretty interesting. That does it for white. So, yeah, I was talking about it for over an hour because I just love every Every card has like a story. And I haven't been able to buy these old cards for a long time. So to me, like Dark Pack, and I remember Antis. Antis were the best thing ever, and Dark Pack would like get you out of it if you were in trouble. And the funny part was like you would put like an underground C, be like, oh, I've anteed my uh, Sivian Dragon. Let me uh, remove it. So swap the top card of your library with either card of the ante, uh, this, this swap is permanent. You must have a card in your library to cast this spell because you were worried about people casting this when they lost the game. Uh, and that's just stuff that contracts would be low. You draw eight cards and you put one of them as an ante. Like for one, one black, you can draw eight cards and keep them all, keep seven of them. Original, you know, this is uh, Siege Rhino. I know a lot of you might not recognize it, but it kind of is. Uh, demonic hunt. I mean, it's just like even this 2-2 two, two zombie. Oh, wow. Look at this card It is dead like you just don't get that anymore. Like you just don't get like the funny little alpha attacks and Look at this zombie. It's so funny like man, this is crazy The shade used to be one Man, like you don't see this artwork even. like this is the reason why like people felt like magic was um a, what's it called? It's not like church, it's like the anti-church. Like it was demonic in nature because you had cards that looked like this. Your cards that were siphoning your soul. Your cards that had razors. I mean, your cards that look like this. Like this, this is great. Why would like, magic has changed so much and some of like, if you played during the Odin days of uh, Beta and Alpha and like that stuff, like it just makes me so happy to see weakness. Mind Twist is very good. Demonic Attorney, where like everything is about antis, like black is the anti, like dark pack. You don't get cards like this anymore because again, we don't play antis. But like, look at this, Uncle is Van. It's not a legend, it's just an Uncle is Van and he sucks, right? Well, the Wisp is pretty cool. Um, I know they reprinted that one. Hypnotic Spectre, Mind Twist. You just don't get, you don't don't see this stuff anymore because, you know, Wizards of Magic is more mainstream and now, you know, it's, I don't know, I don't. Clue, check this out. It is a hate card of other hate cards. So it's hating on Circle of Protections. Remember, Circle of Protections is a hate card. So it's a hate card that hates on another hate card. Because obviously we needed this champion, right? From Fallen Empires. Like, oh, Zombie Master. So um, here, oh, this was the example. This is how you tell Unlimited from Revised. Unlimited is really, really dark. Zombie Master, I think, is worth like a buck. So these two are Unlimited, and then the rest are Revised. And just like so... Now just, oh, more Zombie Masters. How many Zombie Masters are like in this set? Like... It just makes me so happy, and I spent four hours just going through piles of cards. And again, most of these cards are... Whenever someone says a 2-2, I just think this card, because that's what I think of a 2-2. Whenever someone thinks of a... Uh, I mean, this card used to be the face of magic. No joke, this card right here used to be magic's, like, face of magic card. Like, it used to be on banners and, like, logos. Like it's, and then Hill Giant. Whenever someone says a card is a hill giant, they mean this card. <laughs> I 
Crazy, right? Uh, did we go through this pile? I think we did. I mean, I just love it. Um, there's not very much not to love about it. If it costs the same as a fat pack, then yeah, I would rather have these cards. And yeah, I would rather, like, it, just the entertainment alone. Okay, back in the day, this card was very good. But you pay four to pay two more for one creature only, and that creature gets destroyed, the carpet gets destroyed too. And this was considered a very good card back then. I mean, some of the stuff we were playing with, like Tolarian, Mountain Stronghold, like, banding was apparently very important back in the day. And this dude, he had like a toolkit, he got sandbags, he's got a ring. Who is this dude? I, does this dude have like a card? I don't think so. Uh, Ebony Horse, Tolarian, um, Library of Len. Wow, Armageddon Clock is pretty cool. And again, this is, uh, you can see that the ink is very dark, so it's probably from Unlimited. Icy Manipulator, Meek Stone, wow, Mike Stone. I mean, back in the day, it's continuous artifact. What does that even mean? Crazy. Serpent Generator, because you need those. Triastic Egg. Um. Wow, crazy. So it's kind of like a Ivory Tower, Hammerhine, Urza's Chalice. Wow, this is like this is newer stuff. More libraries of Len. Knowledge Vault. Let's see. Take a look at your library without looking. Card out looking at it. Uh, put it face down. Sacrifice it to discard entire hand and take the cards under the vault. If the vault leaves play, put all, all cards under your graveyard. So, pretty, not really instant gratification. Um, I think green was my favorite color of the bunch. Because, like, these cards were very good back in the day. Like, this snake was very good. But now it, it's terrible today. Sandstorm was very good. This wolf was very good. Cyclone was very good. Tranquility was very good. Like, this was the best card in the aggro decks in the day. A 2-2 two -two for one, like, it was unheard of. Yeah, you have Savannah Line, but this card was better than Savannah Line. And if you were aggro, it doesn't matter because your opponent is not going to take control of the card. Life Lace. Uh, so many stories about people trading for Fungosaur, for like Lotuses and stuff. I don't know if they're true or not, but it's really funny when you look at the card today. But back then, it used to be one of the best creatures. So Fast Bond is probably one of the more stream of life. Just there's a can't explain it. It's just a wonderful feeling to have a large collection of old cards. This honestly cost me as much as a fat pack. Like, why would I not buy this for a fat pack? Rancor. Huge. Tsunami. Look at all these tsunamis. Back in the day, like, hate cards is life lace. I mean, every card has, like, a lace card, and I'm not sure why you would want it. Ooh, Venerant Enchantress. Um, so again, you can see this is probably unlimited and this is revised because of the... Oh, well, maybe. Cyclone. Cyclone is uh, pretty kick-ass. If you keep paying it, it's going to keep... Uh, uh, pay one chip. Put one chip. Like, what is a chip? Like, what is this stuff? Like, it's so crazy. Like, um, and that's what I love about magic. Old school magic is its own. And it reminds me of when I was a kid. You know, I used to play this game. Uh, now it's, you know, about money and stuff like that. But back then, you, it didn't matter. And it honestly still shouldn't matter as much as it does today. Bye, guys.